Hello everyone, uh, Dr. Jerry Cuomo again and here in Boca Raton. Uh, a few of you have called in and contacted me regarding x-rays on that uh, bone level case that had the angulation problems. Uh, I want to go over that with you now. I did print them out so you could see them. I do have to shoot this all through a microscope so just kind of bear with me. Uh, this is the pre-op on this particular patient and her lower right four tooth bridge has failed. You're looking at abutments on 29 and uh, 31. It's 29 I believe. Let me just double check that. Uh, actually that's that's 28. 28, 29, 30, and 31. So 28 and 31 are the abutments. Uh, the old root canal treated tooth has uh, failed and so the the periodontis sectioned uh, distal to this uh, 28 abutment. Uh, we talked before about how he sectioned it. Maybe he could have, since he was placing the implants more on an angle, he could have sectioned it more on an angle to follow the path. Uh, possibly the guide pins could have helped him a little bit in this particular case. There's certainly a lot of bone uh, and width of bone in this particular case. So I want to go through and show you the, the next x-ray. This is actually where he placed the implants. Uh, I noticed the amount of room here. Uh, I'm not sure if, if he was trying to avoid the uh, uh, the mental foramen which is probably down in here somewhere and it might exit on the buccal aspect of the alveolar nerve, inferior alveolar nerve and it might be a little more higher up as it exits but more than likely you could have probably placed this implant a little closer to the first bicuspid and made it more parallel with the roots. Um, and then maybe gone a little more distal and made a three tooth bridge for the patient. Um, the next uh, x-ray I actually drew where I would want the the two implants and I believe I did forward this to him but again um, without the use of a surgical stent um, you're going to end up having implants that are not placed ideally and the argument is well uh, put them there because there's uh, more bone in that area and well, that could be very well why they're there but I still would like to know in advance you know reading the x-ray and trying to find out in my prosthetic uh, planning uh, you know we as dentists as restorative dentists have to work around these things and it's not fun and uh, so I thought by sharing the x-rays with you now you can actually see where those implants are placed in bone and get an idea of uh, uh, what's happening underneath the tissue. So if you look at the case again and you're going to see that here we are and here are those uh, standard abutments. <clears throat> again um, I can't work with these. I'm going to have to custom abut. It's going to increase the cost of the overall case and a lot of times we need to know that before the case is going to surgery so that the patient knows what uh, what their costs are going to be. Um, just trying to simplify things and give you an idea of where we are <clears throat> with our bone level cases but get involved with your surgeon you know maybe sometimes it's better for you to take the bull by the horns and try to express and impress upon the the need for uh, surgical stents. Um, if you look at the bone, the width of the bone of this mandible, I mean that is huge as well as in here. I don't see anything knife edge or undercut in this particular case and if you look at the uh, impression you can see uh, that the arch is still you know, lots of room uh, to the lingual on both so I, I don't, I'm not sure why the intent was this way, except the fact that it, maybe they could have been uh, aligned better so that it makes your job, my job, a lot easier. And um, don't forget, do your wax-ups. You know, they really do help. And get, get him the stent. If he doesn't use it, you know, then, then maybe you should look for another periodontist. 
you know, or another oral surgeon to do your work, or learn how to place them yourself. You know, you're the restorative dentist, and that might be a good time, might be a good time to take a good course. Um, taking a course right now and, um, in Lake Worth, uh, it's a great course associated with the Atlantic Coast Dental Research Clinic, and they'll teach you uh, the right way to place the implants and, and, uh, and to restore them. Uh, find one in your neck of the woods in your neighborhood and uh, write in tell me how, how you like it and tell me what you're doing with your periodontist or your uh, oral surgeon avoid mistakes avoid problems uh, be a problem solver again uh, Dr. Jerry Cuomo it looks like bone level is uh, the way of the future and uh, keep practicing and uh, communicate with your with your colleagues. Very important. Take care. Have a great day out there. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.